Welcome back, guys. It's Bars and Barbells. I'm Phil with the lovely Samantha. Hey guys. And uh, together we're Bars and Barbells. I'm Bars, Barbells. You know, that's how, <laughs> how we're rolling with it. So uh, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving us on the channel. Super, super grateful for it. It's been a great ride. Really opened up our eyes to so many different things with all those great comments. And this is a recommendation from those comments. We got Casey Chambers, who's an artist that we've never done on the channel before. Yeah, and neither of us know who she is. Neither of us know who she is. She's an Australian <laughs> artist. That's about yeah. it. That's all we know. Um, and uh, the reason why we're doing this song is because it's a an Eminem cover. Lose Yourself. Clearly, that's what it says on the title. And uh, we, we, we're both big, big Eminem fans. We've... Uh, We've listened to him throughout our lives. Um, you know, for me, definitely more later on because I wasn't a huge fan of his actually early when he was really, really popular. I think he was almost too popular for me. Yeah. And uh, some of his stuff was a little bit cornier and like, you know, or the way I was looking at it, I thought it was cornier. But when I actually started to the de- the. De- deep dive into what his lyrics what, what he was doing what he was saying and your mind was blown yeah I was like okay wow this is way more lyrical than I even understood yeah. so um, that's anyways why I got as I got more mature and understood some of the things that he was saying a bit more then I started to like him a bit more and I feel like he's got a lot of longevity anyways I was putting Eminem on the Christmas list when I was like 10 so, so there you go and <laughs> so yeah you, you've listened to Eminem quite a bit right yes yeah. yeah especially when I was like starting from when I was young like I think um the Eminem show was the first album that I got into. And I think that was early 2000s, right? So, right. Yep. Hardcore fan from then. <laughs> so, and he's been, he's had the longevity, right? He's continued on. He's probably one of the, well, not one of, he is the most yeah. successful hip hop artist of all time, in my opinion. So anyways, uh, enough about Eminem, because uh, that's why we, that's basically why we we're really interested in doing this one. Yeah, but we're here okay. for Casey Chambers. Yes, we're here for Casey Chambers. Who, um, I like I said, Australian artist. I think she has some country influence, which is really, really interesting to see what she's going to do. Whoa, with, with, I'm with excited. Uh, and this is recent as well. It's less than a year old. No, a year old. I'm living in a time warp because we're in we're past June now. So, um, anyways, so it's not that old, but that, that's why I'm excited to check it out. Anyways, we've been rambling for a little while. Eight minute song here or performance or whatever. So, are you ready to get into it? Yes, let's do it. His palms are sweaty knees, weak arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom, spaghetti, and he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd rolls so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out, and he's choking now. Everybody's choking now and the clock's run out, time's up. Snap back to reality, oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes rabbit, he's choked, he's so mad, but he won't give up that easy, no, he won't have it, he knows his hope backs to these ropes. Don't matter, he's stoked. He knows that he's broke, he's stagnant. He knows when he goes back to his mobile home, it's back to the lab again. This old rhapsody better go capture this moment and hope it don't pass him. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity. Comes once in a lifetime. Escaping to 
the souls that escape him. This world is mine for the taking and make me king as we move toward him. A new world order, a normal life is boring, but superstardom is close to postmodern. He only grows harder, he only grows harder, he blows it so Lonely roads, God only knows his Rome Father from home is no father He goes home and barely knows his own daughter But hold your nose, cause he goes a cold His souls go on him no more He's no product, they moved on To the next mode Flows, he knows, dove, and so not a soul. The soul proper is told and unfolds. I suppose it's so partner, but the beat goes on. This is wild. This is crazy. She's like, doing such a good job. It's so different, but she's doing such a good job. She's doing an amazing, outstanding job. The creative process of putting this together. Um, you know, just stripping it down, obviously, yeah. um, and great, great vocal, outstanding vocal. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if that's a banjo or if that's another f uh, form, because there's obviously lots of different uh, types of guitars that are similar in that respect. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what type. I was wondering that too, because I was wondering if it was a banjo. I'm not sure. I, I think it's probably an offset of, an offshoot of, of that, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm not familiar with all the names of it. Anyways, um, back to what she's doing, outstanding yeah. stuff. And, you know, the cadence that she's using in the melody that she's providing is, is outstanding of just this rhythm using, yeah. like, the original and how Eminem does it. And then, you know, obviously making it her own. Yeah. But and one her thing, vocal range, too, is, like, Oh, it's great. It sounds so, so great. But one thing I'm also now, like, noticing even, like, obviously I know this song really, really well from... Eminem, but I think she's highlighting the way she's performing it of how much rhyme, rhyming and cadence is in Eminem's version of it that you don't even think Here, of yeah. because of like she's emphasizing it so yeah, much more slowing it down a lot but it was like literally we were going through a period of that whole verse the second verse and everything is just rhyming like all yeah. the way through and you don't even pick up on it on how good it is from a verse standpoint but then even beyond that I think what I'm really appreciating about this is that you know, the, the songwriting component probably is overlooked from Eminem's side of things of like how good it is put together and telling this story and, you know, the meaning behind the story. Because a lot of people, when they talk about hip hop in particular, they'll say, oh, there's nothing to it. It's just somebody saying a whole lot of trash on a beat yeah, type thing. Yeah. And, you know, I think that Eminem is one of those artists, like we said in the beginning, when you actually take in and listen to yeah, what he's saying. He's saying He's saying a lot, and like I think she is just doing this outstanding job of taking the great lyricism and the great songwriting that Eminem had, and then making it into this instrumentation um, of this acoustic vibe, but this great musical composition that is completely different, like you said, but so outstanding, and it's just meshing perfectly. It's it's I you know I I really obviously enjoyed Eminem's version, but this is also like so so good so well done yeah it's so different but just so creative and like you said just very well composed and put together yeah and uh, you were saying you really enjoyed her vocal right yeah no I think she's doing awesome and she has like a ton of range in there right like she brings it down to these lows but then also it brings in these really like vastly different highs right yeah and it's just crazy the, the, the contrast of like what the original is oh, to what this is. Yes. You know, it's like the original is very high energy, yeah. like, like, yeah, like, you know, your life is, you know, on the line type yeah. thing. And then she's doing your life is on the line, but in a completely different energy. Yes. So it's really, really yeah, entertaining. It. All right, probably won't stop it again. Let her do her thing for the rest of it, but I'm really enjoying it. You better push yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let it you only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a life.
talking roof off like two dogs cage and I was playing in the beginning and the mood all changed well I've been chewed up and spit out and booed off stage but I Oh yeah, I didn't think it could get better than it was, and then it just exploded. And she did an outstanding job. Like, you know, we've watched a lot of different stuff on channel now, and like, the, I don't think there can be much that's beyond the passion that she showed in oh, that yeah. back half of encapsulating, like you said, that anger that is in the original, yeah, like but that like raw energy. Yeah, yeah, and and just it's like. I don't know, the vibe that she gave. I don't know if she, she performs this way normally, but it was almost like she was like, no, I'm going to do this song justice. Like, yeah. You know, like she hammered it out. Like, I wonder if she's actually a fan of Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And was like, no, I'm going to crush this in my own way. Yeah. Which she I totally like she did. she must be, right? Like, to do a cover of somebody you must want to. You yeah. Like the original. Yeah. Right? And so. So, but crushed it. Just, like, absolutely destroyed yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, like, you know, like you said, the vocal ability, the passion in it, the instrumentation, the peaks and valleys of everything, the way she used her inflections and the, yeah. and the delivery of it all. And, and like I said, like her doing that made me almost be like, I wish I want to hear more people do this. Now. Yeah. I want to hear more people take like Eminem songs and change them up into their yeah, own way. Yeah, because, flavor. yeah. I wonder because, what like he would think of, you know, something like that. I feel like he would love it. Oh yeah, for sure. But because like he, when he pens his, his stuff, like I said, that's what I picked up on later is that he just uses like 
uh, we've gone through some of the songs, right, where he's rhyming so much stuff you oh, don't yeah. even realize yeah, to yeah. make it, it all sound to together, head, yeah. sound really good, right? And so it would be so cool to see some of these other songs that maybe you don't even realize he's done that yeah, with and have an artist like her or maybe just her <laughs> uh, do the same <laughs> thing. They should just do a whole album together. Yeah. You know? They should have her come on like one part and then, him, and, 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 although maybe cool. that would clash with some of the musical taste. But yeah. um, I really, really enjoyed that. That's one of my yeah. favorite videos that we've done because I'm biased, obviously. <laughs> but um, I really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, no, I love that as well. I thought it was like incredible. Like at first, like I didn't really know what to expect. I kind of figured it would be a little bit more of a laid back vibe than obviously what he does. But like that, like just blew my expectations out of the water. Yeah, it's great. Like 20,000 thumbs up. Thank you for that recommendation. Clearly yeah. it was a good one. As always, we really appreciate it. Let us know what you think of this performance and anything that we talked about That's in the video. If you haven't subscribed, this is your first time on the channel. We'd love to have you. We've got lots of stuff on the channel. We've got a few Australian artists as well. We've got yeah. uh, John Fardham is on there. So, yeah, he's fire too. Yeah, for sure. So uh, if you want to go check that out, please do. And hopefully we see you tomorrow with our next video. See you guys for the next one.